awesome. So yeah. if you want to know more about that on the box set, that'll be the forgotten year. <laughs> <laughs> the 2003-2006 was us playing in our basement. In our basement, like Green Day covers. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why. We, 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 we weren't really that into Green No, we were. I don't know. We just played it's it's yeah. a good thing, too, because when I've been playing this song, I've been saying that, and actually the other day I played this tune and played a Susie and the Banshees song right before it as a nice segue. Nice. So I'm glad oh, I was right. That would have been yeah. really bad. No, that was... Uh, that was one of those things like one day in my head I was like, Oh, I really wanna name a song after Susie Sue. I was like, that would just be kinda of really cool. And so it's not about it, it it's about somebody who idolizes somebody on stage, like the the, the glamorized version of themselves really. But you who you see on stage is not really who that person is in most cases, you know. Um, so I'm I'm imagining this guy being in love with a Susie Sue type of person. Um and then I just named the song Susie, and, and yeah, it's, so it's, a, it's just a nod to that music because I love that band. Okay, awesome. So here's a fragile tomorrow in studio with a live rendition of Susie from their new album, Make Me Over, from the Crossroad on 91.1 WHFC. And then through the magic of radio, we'll cut it in <laughs> and make it look like, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll do the next segment. Cool. So. Um, and like I said, I'm going to cut all this together later, yeah. and hopefully it will sound halfway decent. Right. And if it doesn't, it's all down to me. <laughs> um, so you're listening to The Crossroad here on 91.1 WHFC. My name's Justin. I'm in studio today with A Fragile Tomorrow. Introduce yourselves again, guys. Uh, Dominic Kelly, drums and vocals. Sean Kelly, guitar and vocals. Brandon Kelly, guitar. Sean Rhodes, bass. And awesome. <laughs> and awesome. And awesome. So he, he declared it last segment, so I kind of have to. St he's gonna have to stick with that yeah, from now on. Continuity. Yeah, and yeah. it's gonna have to be on the album covers from now right. on. That's yeah. true. I guess yeah. so. Yeah. Credits. Yeah. yeah. Now you're all cursing <laughs> yourself, going, "Why didn't I play <sighs> awesome?" Yeah. <laughs> so you know, I'm looking at the new album, "Make Me Over," and it's kind of a laundry list of other awesome. You know, because you guys have some guest vocalists and some guest artists in, on board as well. Um, you know, and you're touring right now with Indigo Girls, mm -hmm. and actually you guys have a pretty long history with the Indigo Girls, right? Can you yeah. kind of talk a little bit about that? Um, well, we met them, we met Amy Ray in an alley. Yeah, Sean and I went to New see York. Indigo Girls when we, I think I was 16, I just yeah. got my license, and we got in my dad's car and drove to this Indigo Girls show, and we were so totally pumped to see them, we've never seen them before. We, we had them, mutual friends. We had mutual friends, so we, we kind of told their guitar tech, Sully, that uh, we saw her before the show. We were like, hey, we're friends with Daniel Howell. Can you let Amy know? And Amy came out after the show, and we talked for a while. We gave her our second record. Uh, Malcolm Byrne had produced that record, and um, he had done some work with them years ago. So we had kind of like uh, some mutual friends, and we talked, and we gave her a record. And then she wound up seeing her like six months later at a solo show she did, and she like ran up to him and was like, I love your record. And uh, became friends, and then did some stuff, and then started touring with them almost six years ago. So it was six years ago, earlier this month was the first like time we ever performed with Indigo Girls. Yeah, at one of the venues that we're playing. Yeah, with them, on this tour, this tour which is really surreal. Yeah, that it's kind of coming full circle. And of course, you guys are playing a gig tonight in Alexandria, Virginia. Yes. yes. So check that out. Yeah. Uh, so they're going to be opening for the Indigo Girls at the first year, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yes. Yep. In Alexandria, Virginia, you just came from a gig in Annapolis. Yeah. As well, we did. Mm -hmm. So. That went awesome, right, guys? It, it was great. great. So good. So much yeah. fun. <laughs> yeah. So, so what can you tell us about the new song that you're going to perform for us next? Um, tell Me How to Feel is... It was something that... A lot of these songs were combinations of different things that I've written over the course of, like, two years. Um, and this one was kind of, like, three or four different pieces that I kind of put together. And it took forever to finish this song. A lot of these songs took forever. And it was just trial and error, just trying things, and and this one just kind of happened that way. And uh, you know, I tried not to. I think when I when I figured out what I wanted it to sound like, I tried not to uh, to overanalyze it at that point. You know, I finally realized what was going to work with certain things, and then I kind of stuck with it. And then we went in and just did it. We just started tracking it. We had the music for a lot of these songs down before we even had melody or lyrics. Um, and then I would go and write melody and lyrics once we had the music down. And, and so. The production sort of shaped the the writing of the record, and this song is actually a really good example of how that worked because I wanted the, the vocals to sort of weave through what the guitars were doing, and and so having the, the layers down already, the musical layers, really helped that, and it wound up I think it might be my favorite on the record. 
All right, here's a fragile tomorrow live in studio with a live rendition of their song Tell Me How to Feel from their new album Make Me Over on the Crossroad on 91.1 WHFC. And then we'll do the third. What was the third song you guys did? Can't you hear me? Okay. So, and again, I'll just pretend that we're coming back from all this. And, you know, you know the whole deal. Um, and I'm gonna I'm gonna get you into the conversation because I wanna, okay because I want to hear you know how how the how the dynamic is. Okay. <laughs> All the secrets are coming out. Can I go? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we're here in the studio today with a Fragile Tomorrow. They are touring right now, supporting the Indigo Girls. They're actually playing a show in Alexandria, Virginia, later on tonight at the Burkineer Theater. That's down in Alexandria, Virginia. What time do you guys get on the stage? I think one eight, eight o'clock. Yeah. All right, so 8 o'clock at the Birchmere, opening for the Indigo Girls in Alexandria, Virginia, and they're supporting their brand new album called Make Me Over, which is their first album, right, on Empress Records? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you guys were doing totally the indie thing before that, right? Totally indie. Mm -hmm. yeah, we ran out of money. <laughs> <laughs> we had none to begin with. Yeah, we found a way. And fortunately, Empress Records got on you being the only person that's not part of the family. Um, what's what's cool about it is I think at this point at, what's cool about it is I think at this point I mean we would all consider ourselves family just for the simple fact that you know I love like these guys like their brothers but what's what's good about it too is that I don't have to get in on brother drama which is just natural if you have a brother or sister or sibling you fight and you bicker and you argue just like any sort of family but what's cool about that aspect of it is is that on the flip side is that the connection that we all kind of have, especially the three of them together, just makes it so that, you know, working together is such like a, a dream. Um, and especially, you know, Sean and Dom, you know, being twins, there's times that Brendan and I will be sitting in a room and Sean will come in and be like, hey, why don't we do this on the song? Or like, why don't we do this? Yeah, yeah. and because I joined the band is how I met her. And yeah. so without them, I wouldn't be married right now. So thanks guys. <laughs> So, so he brings the awesome. You brought him his wife. Yes. Yeah. So you see, yeah. Here we have a wife. <laughs> yeah. So. Here is his gift. Yeah. He bestowed upon you. Be married. Oh, wow, that's, that's that's how it happened. That's that's pretty. Yeah. That's a pretty harsh thing that you're now sort of stuck with that. You know? Yeah. That hangs over your head like an albatross. They've got that. They've got you. You yeah. know. Exactly. But. Sorry. I'll take it. Yeah. I mean, it's yeah. cool. <laughs> so you ever find yourself like being like the, the, the peacemaker or the third party like arbiter like all the time. <laughs> oh, man. That's that's that's, yeah. that's that's what I do. But I mean it's like it's not like they're like trying to like beat the you know crap out of each other all the time. It's just you know <laughs> Well the thing the thing that happens is that when we have band arguments or band related arguments, they get more intense because we're brothers. So there's like a certain level of emotion that wouldn't I probably wouldn't normally happen with just family. Exactly. But I have to say, sh like, the four, like, <laughs> like you guys bring stuff to... like back when you were three. Yeah. Right. That's my favorite yeah. toy. And Sometimes that's we why do I bring that. I don't want to throw you under the bus, Sean, but you know, you are you could be kind of hard headed, and not only do you <laughs> no. bicker with the two of us, of you course. bicker with Sean. I've seen you guys go at Absolutely. it. How about we don't on air? I was going to say, maybe we're just going to start bickering on it. <laughs> no, so, really, it's we are all the four of us brothers. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Absolutely. We all, and at the end of the day, we're totally fine. And yeah. you all bicker, too, because that's yes. just part of the way it works. And we're in a van 